So this is the Botanica add-on. Beautiful grass, beautiful trees, lovely jubblies. So with the add-on downloaded and everything installed, let's delete the default cube as always. Add in a mesh, add in a plane. I'm just gonna scale this up a smidgen. Press N to bring up the side panel and here we go. We are now in the Botanica and I've got the full copy. Lovely jubblies. So straight off the bat, I've got our plane selected spawn asset and then we can pick some trees. I actually like this yew tree. And you can see the list is fairly extensive. So let's just go ahead and select this one here. And then I'm just gonna press okay. Now I have the option of just having it as a collection. So it's gonna bring it across from the other blend file or make it editable. Don't really wanna, I'm just gonna press okay for now, just to show you guys what this tree looks like. So at the moment we're in Eevee and it doesn't look too bad. Let's just quickly add in our sun and all that jazz. So there's our tree in Eevee, but this comes to life when we jump over into Cycles. So just by giving it a simple lighting setup, it is looking gorgeous. Let's just press F12 and have a smidgen. And without doing anything, our tree looks magical. So let's go ahead and maybe add some extra love down the ground here. So I'm gonna click on the ground and we can go Spawn Assets. We're gonna change it from conifers. We'll change it to maybe grasses. And we can also set the season. So select all these. Mm, I don't want grasses. Sorry, this is the wrong spot. So if we go back, I kind of just want to have a scatter. Let's go to scatter assets. Makes more sense. Plus the plus sign. And then we can choose what type of grass we want. Let's go a pasture. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit too big. Let's bring down the scale to maybe 0.1 or 0.3. That might be a little bit better. Let's kind of go into rendered view. And we've got a nice coverage of grass. Why not? Let's throw in another one and see if we can kill the computer. Alpine Meadow. Let's go okay on that one. Not too bad. I'm going to select the ground plane. I think one thing I'd love to see is where I can just put on a ground texture, but I'm going to jump over to the scatter add-on. <laughs> select our plane. Quickly go into Biomes Manager and just add in the ground material. Close that. Back into 3D viewport. There we go. That is now looking really nice with the grass now blending in the, with the ground plane. And then we've got a nice bush there. Let us go into camera mode. I'm just gonna reposition the camera and I'm just gonna press F12 and we'll go from there. Look at that with barely any work. Mm. Spicy. Also, there's some other cool features. So another thing is, is let me just put shift right click and put our 3D cursor there. Let's go spawn an asset, grass. Now give me some trees, baby. And what I'm gonna do is let's go Maritime Pine. And we've spawned a pretty big tree. But what I wanted to show you, if I went G, and if we kind of grabbed, whoa, selected everything here. Let's just go right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide a few times. And if I press O for proportional editing, G to the Z, let's scroll up a little bit. You can see now that we've got kind of like this hill. However, I want the tree to snap to that hill. Simple, just click snap to ground. herp a derp and we're in. Now it is in beta, so it doesn't look like it's fully penetrated the ground. So I might just move it down a smidgen. There we go. And then obviously from here, what I could do is, you know, duplicate and scale, shift D, duplicate and scale. We can do a random variant and that'll change up the tree a little bit. And then once again, if we want that to sit properly, I can just go GZ, move it to the top, snap to ground, it is in beta, and it is pretty much in the ground. But I might just move it down ever so slightly, a little bit more, done. This tree here, let's do the same, snap to ground. There we go, look at that. Get out of the way, tree. <laughs> so if we zoom out completely, set up the camera, let's do one more render. Brilliant, look at it just without even doing anything, amazing. So once again, that is a quick overview of the Botanic add-on, amazing, beautiful, simply quick. There is a link in the description, so if you want, click on that. And I've got some uh, I've got some ideas coming up with this, so uh, make sure you uh, stay tuned, yeah? Yeah, yeah, ding dong, yeah? Yeah, yeah, ding dong! <laughs>